You know, I don't know why in our education system they don't teach financial education from primary. Because at the end of the day, we are going to interface with money. But if you don't know or no one has taught you how to manage money, you're reckless with money. You're really reckless with money. And people grow old and they don't have anything to show for it. You know, in many third world countries, they don't know the power of compounding. And what do I mean by compounding? Many of us, when we were growing up, no one told us, oh, we, did never, we never got ed financial education, you know. We learn certain things that don't really add any value to us. There are many things that I studied in chemistry that I've never, ever applied to my life. And, but as you grow, you start interf interfacing the necessity of money. Oh, you start interfacing with money. And with no financial education as you grow up, you don't know how to manage money property, properly. What am I trying to say? In many of the countries or third world countries with no financial education, and it may be also applying to a certain other country, we've never been taught the importance of investing for the future. And so most of the people live hand to mouth. And whenever that money comes into the house, it is spent. Most of the families in third world countries live day by day, live day by day. They live in the moment. They don't live thinking of the future. But I've come to understand reading books, if you really want to become wealthy, you need to do certain things like today. You can't wait tomorrow to start doing those things. For example, just like a, a farmer who goes in the field, let me say he has corn seeds. He goes in the field, he prepares the field, maybe excavating the, the, the land, and then start planting. Every seed that he places in the, in the field or in the soil, after a few months, that one seed uses more seeds, maybe a hundred seeds out of just one seed. Most of African countries or third world countries, we tend to eat that seed. So the mentality is day after day survival, kind of survival. We don't really think about the future and in terms of our financial stability in the future. So that's why we see a lot of poverty in our countries because no one has really taught us the importance of investing investing our money that comes into our home. Some of the things that I've learned over time that earn dividends and where compounding also plays a big role in building wealth is investing in existing companies. And what I mean by investing in existing companies is investing in stocks. Most of the people when they're buying, and I've seen this trend in certain countries whereby they gamble a lot with stocks. They don't see stocks as a piece of an existing business. When they buy a stock, probably, of course, yes, we buy those stocks or they buy stocks cheaply. And once the price goes up, maybe in a couple of weeks or a couple of months, they decide to, to sell it off because their motive was to earn a little on top of what they put in. But if that company, company's share went up in price in a few months, just think about this. If the same trend happens after five, 10 years from now, 
say you bought a share at one dollar five years ten years down the road when the company is continuously investing into ex its expansion into a its product line of course the value of the company is going to increase and so does the share of the company that's why warren buffett has an totally different philosophy when it comes to investing in stocks. When he buys a stock, he holds on that stock for at least 10 years. Warren Buffett is one of the biggest example, greatest example of value investing. He invest, invests for a long, long time. And no wonder he's one of the billionaires that we have today. You know, I've changed my mindset. Of course, when I went into buying stocks a few years ago, it was also to gain some money on top of what I put in because of, of the people that were surrounding me. That's exactly what they were doing. But over time, you start losing money. You know, you start losing money because you want to go in, buy and wait for a few months or a few weeks to resell back. And sometimes we, we, are, we are so involved in the speculation of the market and something that they showed in the market, probably some news that comes out and the stock price goes down. Sometimes we panic and then sell valuable stocks. We are pretty much selling our piece of companies that we bought because most times we don't even see it as a piece of the company. We see it as a mere share. But once you buy a share, you're buying literally, however small it is, a piece of that company. So my philosophy has changed over time. When I made my research, and buy into a company. And I'll tell you what things I look when I'm, before I decide investing in a company. I'll tell you a few of them. When I decide to buy into a company, I literally see myself as a owner, share owner or shareholder of that company. That's why even you see that we are invited to general meetings because the value you vote, you can actually vote in board of directors or vote out board of directors. So I hope this video can help you really reflect on your philosophy of first of investing, not living in the moment, but investing in the future. And I've just touched only on, on, on buying stocks. But there are other ways you can invest into the future or valuable assets that can bring rewards, financial rewards over a period of time. And I've just spoken about stocks. So I hope you can change your philosophy of how you see shares or stocks. It is used interchangeably, but it's the same thing how you see buying stocks. When you buy a stock, have this in your mind, that I'm buying into a company and I'm, it is a piece of a company that I've just bought and I'm going to hold on that piece of the company for as long as I can. And you may just say, you know, I'll just benefit from the dividends that the company pays some companies pay quarterly, some pay after six or a year. So you can just benefit from the dividends, but you should never eat the seed. As I was giving you the story of a farmer, don't eat that seed. And don't participate also in speculation because there's a lot of it. And be careful also, the people you surround yourself with, because most of them may be just gambling, pretty much and you may lose your money in that. Try to have that philosophy of buying and holding your stock for a long, long time.
You know, I don't know why in our education system they don't teach financial education from primary. Because at the end of the day, we are going to interface with money. But if you don't know or no one has taught you how to manage money, you're reckless with money. You're really reckless with money. And people grow old and they don't have anything to show for it. And the older you get, the more necessities or requirements you get because of old age. So if you don't plan when you have the strength, when you have the will to make money and you just spend your money, live in the moment, and you don't plan those future years, it can be really stressful or it can be really hard in those later years. So I just decided to see today, you know, I do educational videos about finances. My aim is to educate people about finances because I know that education or knowledge is power. So I hope as I share this, you, you're getting any kind of value in this video, in this type of video where I just sit down, talk to you. The other ways that you could invest into the future, I've spoken about stocks, as to a mutual funds where they pull money from different people and then invest it in an asset and then you can benefit from dividends. Another one is investing in real estate. Real estate is a good investment if you know how to do it right. You may think, you know, you, you need maybe a lot of money to start investing in real estate. You don't necessarily need a lot of money. You just have to be strategic with your money. Some people invest in REITs. These are, these are basket. It's a real estate basket. I could call it a basket, it's a trust. You could, they, you, they pull money together and invest in real estate. So you don't need to probably, you don't need to buy a real estate yourself, but you can put money into REITs where they invest your money into real estate. So you benefit indirectly from real estate investments they are making on your behalf. Or even start small. You know, these days we have A and B and B. All over the world, people are traveling. Every day they travel. And they go to countries and probably they just, many tourists want places where they can stay and, you know, safe and their needs are taken care of when they are abroad. Where you are in the third world country, you can buy small properties. You can buy a piece of land. And, and build slowly, but you have this objective of, yeah, you can build it for uh, to, to, and put it on online as an A and B and B, and you can benefit from the revenue from there. And of course, the middle class is still going up. People still need residential houses. So if you do your thing right. You can have people renting your houses. Of course, some people fear the idea of renting houses and then the burden of getting money from the tenants and all of that. You can always have or hire a real estate management firm that manages your property. You can pay them a fee, probably a month or a year, to manage your properties. But real estate is a good, good investment. So I hope this video can add some value 
to someone out there who is pondering, who is seated there and they're struggling financially. If you start doing certain things, small steps today, small steps, but you know where you're going. Three, five years down the road, you can look back and see that you're not the same. That you're not the same. But one of the things that we humans waste and yet is very valuable is time. We were, young, we were once young, but we, are, we go. <laughs> so we all have the same amount of, of hours in the day, 24 hours. All of us have it. But you see other people benefit or do well or utilize their time very, very efficiently that you can see whatever they utilize it with compounds over years and you can see that they were, they were strategic with their time. The generation that we live in today, you see many people are on the phone, many people are just waste time as, we, as if they have an, an endless amount of time. We need to utilize our time wisely. Try to do something with your time which will compound or will yield into something profitable for you. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your time. As the saying goes, time is money. There are many people that have built a brand, a personal brand, and a minute of their time costs a lot. Just think about yourself. Think about the skills. Think about who you were. How much is your minute worth? Of course, don't beat yourself down if it doesn't cost that much. You can start certain things, learn, add value to yourself, invest in yourself, and over a period of time, you become valuable. Your time becomes valuable. So, in this video, I just thought, just to sit down and talk to you, Hopefully you can find value in this video. Just pouring out my heart to you. When I started this YouTube channel, as I said, to educate others, the things that I've learned, my pitfalls that I've, I've had, the lessons I've learned, So hopefully you can benefit something <clears throat> from the things that I've said today. So, well, if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, it will be a great time to do so because I'm in this for a long haul. <laughs> and I, I plan to do different things with this channel. And with your support, I believe we're going to go places. We're going to go places. So, if you liked or enjoyed any part of this video, just show your love by hitting the, the like button, smashing the like button. And also share this video with others if you got value from it. So, until next time, God bless.